Hi guys, this video is a little bit different compared to my other ones where I usually make vlogs just for fun like really randomly on this YouTube but I recently made a video on Instagram and TikTok where I made these felt flowers and a couple of you guys asked me to do a tutorial so I'm gonna try my best because I am also a beginner or I really like <laughs> this is my first time making them so I'll try to make like a simple version for you guys to follow along if you don't know who I am, I'm Ange or Picarar. I make art. I like to draw Shiba Inus inspired by my dog and um, just like random stuff and things. And before we get into the felt video, I wanted to share that I have my first YouTube sponsors. I just got home and we went to Jollibee's. I got the Hollow Hollow. I also got my Anna Luis in the mail. I don't know what they sent me, so let's see. There's a little note. Look at this cute packaging. We love to see it. It's reusable. <gasps> oh my god. It has like a little flower on it. It looks like a rose. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm obsessed with like gold accessories, especially just like simple shapes. Oh my gosh. So I actually already love Anna Luisa. I have a couple of pieces from them prior to this. I have a simple sun-like necklace. It's super simple. You can wear it on anything. I also have these like asymmetrical earrings. And then I have these ones as well. What's really nice is that I've had these for over a year, but there's no scratches or blemishes on them. So you know they're durable. There's also free shipping in the US. They're climate conscious. So their brand is carbon neutral. I don't know how they're affordable, but still stylish. I highly highly recommend them. They're one of my favorite jewelry brands. I'll have a link in the video description and you can save 20% off if you use my code. Okay back to making felt. So these are all the things that you're gonna need. To be honest you just need like regular scissors. I happen to have fabric scissors and I have these like hand clippy scissors, the orange ones. Oh and a hot glue gun. A tip that I found in making these is having a needle is really helpful just because you can like puncture felt and then if you do have pastels or some kind of like dusty powdery color that's also nice because you can rub it on the felt and make other colors. Alright, so first thing I can show you guys is how to do the flowers. You're gonna wanna cut three by three centimeter squares from both the green felt and the ivory or white felts. Then you'll cut the middle part on all of the sides of the squares. You don't have to cut it all the way into the center, just make like a small little dent on each side. Then you'll cut these round curves coming from the corners into the center and you'll do that on all of the sides. I do one side all at once just because it's easier and then I flip it over and do the other side. You'll end up with a flower shape, something like this. So you'll pretty much want to do that with all of them, whether it's green or the white that you've chosen. For the white ones though, after I get the flower shape, I cut these triangular shapes on the petal edges and you'll get something like this. To start the flower, you will need two of the white flower shapes. And then this is where I get my pastel green and I just crush it up and try to make like little dust. This is super optional, it's kind of extra, but it gives the flower a little bit of color and it makes it look a bit more natural. I also said the needle was optional, but for me, it was something I definitely needed. I think it's because my felt was a little bit more thick, so the needle just helps to puncture a hole in the flowers. And then you can also bend the petals to make them look more natural too. You'll then need a wire, something like 16 centimeters. It doesn't really matter how long. This is going to be the stem part. And for this, you just need a very teeny tiny green little square. That's going to be the circle part of the flower. So you'll take the stem and just insert it into the first petal, doesn't matter which one. Get your hot glue gun. I don't know why there's a little dangling there, but you'll get your hot glue gun and 
put it on where the little dot will be so that little green square that you got this part i was very precious about but to be honest you don't have to be that precious after a while you just kind of get used to placing it there you're gonna scrunch the flour all around and so the hot glue will actually make it stay together then you'll get the second flour and just insert it onto the bottom Take your hot glue gun and glue the bottom part of the first flower and again just scrunch it up all together. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's going to look super natural if you get really messy with it. This is part of the stem so you can get any size green felt and just roll it up underneath the flower. I found that this part makes it really easy to wrap in the flower tape. If you have extra felt, just cut it off. So you'll get your flower tape and just start wrapping around the stem. Start with the felt part and because we added that part, it makes it really easy to now wrap around the wire. My tip here is to not go too quickly diagonally. You want to get an even amount of horizontal tape and it will stick a lot better. In total, you'll need to make 9 to 10 flowers. Alright, white buds. So for these, you're going to use the same white flowers that you already cut out, but instead, you only need one this time. Get your wire and place it on one of the petals like this, and just start hot gluing the stem as well as the two opposite petals. Um, this part's a little weird. Fold the two adjacent petals first, and then fold them together. It's gonna look weird at first, trust the process, just keep scrunching them together. At the end, you get this bud shape, and then you can snip off any extra pieces and shape it to however you want. For the greenery part of the bud, you'll need a 2 by 2 centimeter square instead. Do the same process though, cut it into that flower shape that we're familiar with. Again, I use the needle to puncture a hole in the center. Thread it through the stem. The tip here is that you will need to hot glue the green part into the crevices of the white bud. Once again, trust the process. Just press the greenery into the bud, hold it there for a bit, and it should start looking something like this. Another tip I have about the flower tape is that you don't need to wrap the entire stem. In the end, you'll actually cover it, so you only need to do like a piece of the stem make three of these. You'll also need to make green buds and they're essentially the same process as the white ones. Actually easier because you only need to make one part, it doesn't come in two parts. You glue the green petals together just like you did the white one. And then that's pretty much it. You need to make at least four of these. The last piece you're going to make are the leaves. These are optional, it just depends on how you want to make your bouquet or however you're making your flower arrangements. You'll cut another wire, maybe like 16 centimeters again. This time you'll put the wire on the green rectangle like this. Not all the way, just leave some room at the edge. Oh my god, why am I shaking? And you'll hot glue along the wire. Then you'll fold it over. And then start cutting out a leaf shape. So I'll cut a curve on one end, and then I'll cut another curve on the other end. Make sure it's completely dry before you open it up. I made the mistake of trying to open it early, and it left some like weird glue marks. You'll wrap the stem just like you did the other pieces, and you'll need two to three of these. Once you have all the pieces, it's my favorite part, which is arranging them together. We'll first start with the green buds, make a triangular shape like this, and just start taping them together. I start with two at first, one is a bit staggered on top and the other below. And then slowly, I start adding the third piece. This is why you didn't originally need to tape the entire stem, it's cause in the final process, you will be taping it all together. You pretty much follow the same process throughout the entire time you're adding the buds. Then I start adding the white buds. The tip here is to add it below two of the previous buds, and you do that with the flowers as well. Continue making that triangular shape that we made at the beginning. Just start doing it for all of the sides. 
I remember when I was first doing this, I couldn't believe that all of them together would make it look like this, but it did. So yeah, just trust the process. And again, you can make it with leaves or not with leaves, just depends on how you're going to make your bouquet. So when I put it in a vase like this, I didn't really need the leaves and I also didn't need to tape the entire bottom. I'm working on a bouquet with a bunch of various flowers like this and so I'm still figuring out how I want to tape them together. If you guys want a tutorial with tulips, baby's breath, or peonies, I can also do that, just let me know. But that's it for this video, thanks for watching and don't forget to check out my Ana Luisa link in the description below. Okay, bye!